Hello, boys and girls. My name is Ekaterina Kazachenko. I am an English language teacher. Let's start our English lesson. Today, our topic is offering and asking for help. We will focus on phrases for offering and asking for help. And we will practice these phrases in speech. Now, tell me please, do you ever organize events with your friends? I'm sure you do. Imagine you want to organize a party or barbecue with some friends. What things do you need to plan? I think first we need to think about the place. We can go to a cafe or we can have a barbecue in nature. Then we should plan the food. We can prepare some sweets or some snacks. Then we also should think about entertainment. We can plan disco or some games. So, look please at the photo. What are Lucy and Adam preparing? Right, maybe they are preparing barbecue. So, listen to the dialogue and answer the question. What does Adam need? 13. Unit 1. Speaking. Exercise 2. A barbecue was a great idea, Adam. Yes, thanks. I'm looking forward to it. Do you want me to help you with anything? I'd really appreciate it, if you don't mind. Have we got everything? Well, we've got enough food, but there isn't much to drink. Shall I get a few cartons of juice or something? There's a shop near here. Do you mind? No, that's fine. Thanks, Lucy. Uh, have you got enough money? Yes. If you want, I can get a bag of ice, too. We haven't got any. Good idea. Oh, and we need bags for the rubbish. Could you get some? OK, no problem. I'll see what they've got. Now, tell me, please, what does Adam need? Right. Adam needs some more drinks, a bag of ice and some bags for the rubbish. Now, look please at task number three. Complete the key phrases from the dialogue. Which phrases are for offering help and which are for asking for help? Then we will listen and check. So, please, do this exercise. You have one minute. Now listen and check. Track 1.14, Unit 1, Speaking, Exercise 3, Offering Help. Do you want me to help you with anything? Shall I get a few cartons of juice? If you want, I can get a bag of ice too. Okay, no problem. I'll see what they've got. Asking for help. I'd really appreciate it, if you don't mind. Do you mind? Could you get some? So, let's see what we have. Phrase number one. Do you want me to help you with anything? This one we use for offering help. Second phrase. I'd really appreciate if you don't mind. This phrase is for asking for help. Next. Shall I get a few cartons of juice or something? This one we use for offering help. Do you mind? This phrase is for 
asking for help. Next phrase. If you want, I can get a bag of ice too. This phrase is for offering help. Next. Could you get some? This one we use for asking for help. And the very last. OK, no problem. I'll see what they've got. This one we use for offering help. Well done. Good job. Now let's practice our pronunciation. Look at task number four. Listen to the sentences. Practice linking the words. One. A bag of ice. Two. A box of matches. Three. A bottle of fizzy water. Four. A lot of bananas and apples. Five. We need a carton of juice. So you see that if the word finishes with consonant and the next word starts with the vowel, we should link these two words together. For example, a bag of ice. Can you repeat after me, please? A bag of ice. Sentence number two. A box of matches. Repeat, please. A box of matches. Third sentence. A bottle of fizzy water. Repeat, please. A bottle of fizzy water. Sentence number four. A lot of bananas and apples. Repeat, please. A lot of bananas and apples. The last sentence. We need a carton of juice. Repeat. We need a carton of juice. Well done. Now look please at task number five. Study the key phrases again. Then complete the sentences with your own ideas. You have one minute. Now, let's see what possible answers can be. Sentence number one. Your room is very dirty. Shall I clean it? Sentence number two. This homework is too difficult. OK, no problem. I'll help you. Sentence number three. I don't want to go alone. Shall I come with you? The fourth sentence. You are very noisy. Could you be quiet? Sentence number five. There isn't any sugar left. Do you want me to buy some more? Sentence number six. We need to phone Ibeck. Shall I call him? Well done. Good job. Now look at task number six. Complete the dialogues. Look, there are four dialogues. You need to fill in the gaps with the missing words. Dialogue 1, let's do all together. Look at the picture. He asks, do you want some coffee? The man answers, no, thanks. The rest three dialogues, please do yourself. You have three minutes.
OK, now let's check the next dialogue. Do you want some chicken? Yes, please. Next dialogue. Can I have some cake? Here you are. And the last one. Can I have some water? Here you are. Well done. Now look at exercise number six. Here you need to order the dialogues with numbers. Dialogue one, let's do all together. Look, hello, do you want some cheese? Hello, yes, please. Now let's put this line in logical order. Line number one, hello. Line number two, hello. Next line, number three. Do you want some cheese? And the last one, number four. Yes, please. Look what we have. Hello, hello. Do you want some cheese? Yes, please. Now, do the rest of the dialogues yourself. For this task, you have four minutes. OK, now let's check. Next dialogue. Can I have your pen, please? Here you are. Hello, hello. Line number one. Hello. Second one. Hello. Number three. Can I have your pen, please? Number four. Here you are. What we have? Hello, hello. Can I have your pen, please? Here you are. Next dialogue. No, thank you. Hello. Do you want some eggs? Hello. Let's put them in order. Hello. Next one. Hello. Number three. Do you want some eggs? Number four. No, thank you. Let's read. Hello. Hello. Do you want some eggs? No, thank you. And the last dialogue. Can I have some water, please? Hello, hello, here you are. Line number one. Hello. Number two, hello. Third line. Can I have some water, please? Line number four. Here you are. Read with me. Hello, hello. Can I have some water, please? Here you are. Well done. Good job. Now, look at task number four. Here, you need to complete the dialogue with the words in the box. Please find help with no, of course, can, need. For this task, you have five minutes. Now, let's check. Mom, 
Can you help me with the living room, please? Bob. Yes, of course, Mom. Mom. Can you clear the table, Dan? Dan. No problem, Mom. Bob. Do you need any help with the bedrooms? Mom. Yes, please. We can make the beds next. Dan. Can I help you with the car? I like washing the car. Mom. No, that's fine. Thank you. The car is clean. Well done. Good job. Now look at task number one. Complete the sentences about the pictures with one word in each gap. First, look at the picture. What can you see? Look. On picture number one, we can see the washing. Picture number two, that's right, it's a living room. Picture number three, well done, it's a table. And what can you see on picture number four? That's right, it's a cake. So, look at four sentences below the pictures. Complete them with one word in each gap. For this task, you have three minutes. Now, let's check picture number one and sentence number one. Can I help you with the washing? Picture number two and sentence number two. Do you need any help with the living room? Good. Sentence number three and picture number three. Can you move the table, please? Well done. And the last sentence and picture number four. Can you help me with the cake? Good. Well done. Now let's practice. Prepare a new dialogue. Use the shopping list or your own ideas. Practice your dialogue. Then change roles. A camping trip was a good idea, Kate. Yes, thanks. I'm looking forward to it. Do you want me to help with anything? I'd really appreciate it if you don't mind. Have we got everything? Well, we've got enough water, but there isn't a box of matches. Shall I buy a few boxes of matches? There is a shop near here. Do you mind? No, not a problem. Thanks, Aliya. Have you got enough money? Yes, and I can buy a map too. We haven't got any. Good idea. We also need sleeping bags. Would you get two of them? OK, no problem. I'll see what they've got. So, boys and girls, today we practiced phrases for offering help. Let's revise them. Do you want me to? Shall I? If you want, I can. Could you? OK, no problem. I'll. And some phrases for asking for help. I'd really appreciate if you don't mind. Do you mind? Could you? Thank you for your attention. So, that's all for today. Thank you very much. See you next time. Goodbye.